Two days a week, Alicia has therapy with horses. She started half a year ago looking for a solution to her behavioral and self-esteem disorders. I find it very relaxing to come here and be with Maui. Then also the fact of having an obligation to take care of an animal is very important, the self-esteem of being on a horse. The activity must be carried out by professionals in the pathologies being treated. In addition, what is known as a binomial is created, which means the horse that best treats the patient's needs is chosen. What we're going to do is work on the therapeutic goals that our patient needs, goals in the motor, cognitive and language area, and what we are going to do is work on them, introducing the horse in all through didactic material, all through play. Each session lasts about an hour. For some people, the coronavirus has boosted the need for horse therapy and outdoor activity with lower risk of contagion. In this center alone, there has been a 30% increase in demand, and now there is a waiting list. One in five Spaniards has felt depressed because of the pandemic. Equine therapy can be recommended to help, but also for autism, infantile cerebral palsy or multiple sclerosis. On one side there's the horse and the movement it has, the rhythmic impulses and the warmth it transmits to those who ride it. And on the other side there's the effect of tie that is created with the children or with the adults who ride them. With the necessary time and dedication, family members also notice the improvements. With me, I had a good relationship, but it's true that with other members of the family, she clashed more. But she's found the positive energy that working with the horses gives her. A good way to improve lives and create new emotional bonds. Carlos Marlasca, Euronews, Madrid.